This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest Revenge OS on this device and this is the 12th December 2019 build. Let me show you the about section quickly and here the Revenge OS version is 3.0, the Android version is 10, the security patch is latest of December 5th 2019 and the stock kernel here is the immensity kernel and you can see the build number and let me tell you by default over here you won't get gapps so you need to flash the gapps file and as you can see the rom is about 547 mb in size so you need to flash the gapps i have flashed the bit gapps the open gapps simply did not work for me like i would recommend you guys not using the open gapps beta and use the like bit gapps do not use the open gapps i'll put the bit gapps link in the description box below and like you can use that to flash this rom i have flashed it with the like orange fox recovery so if you want to ask how do you flash this rom well, if you're coming from UI, you have to format the storage once. Once you have formatted the data, then just like flash the ROM file, the gapps file and the fcrypt disabler if you want to like go decrypted way. So that's how easy it is to flash this ROM. Now, let me show you the more things in the settings. If you look closely, the icons in the settings looks a little bit different. As you can see, the like icon kind of colors and stuff are looking a little bit different and even if you notice the quick settings panel it looks a little bit different and here in the system we have the like developer options and stuff because i enabled it but you won't get any system updater here and in the button section you will get the power menu and from here you will get the advanced restart option so if you tap over here and tap on restart you will get the directly like rebooting to recovery or fast boot option so that's great that you do get the advanced reboot over here and screen of power button torch is there but if you're using always on display this won't be working for you so like for this you have to disable the always on display let me go back in the gestures we have the swipe to take screenshot gesture and this is working fine but the screenshot sound does appear whenever i am taking a screenshot so that's weird and in the system like gestures over here i have the android 10 gestures enabled but you can also use two button or three button navigation if you are like gonna go that way in the display settings we have the wallpapers option you can choose like whatever wallpapers you want then there is a dark theme of course the dark theme does work and it looks pretty dope and here by the way I, let me tell you that i could not find the option to like change the accent colors here but maybe that's just me that i could not find it maybe it is in there somewhere hidden but I don't see it in the display settings panel. The accent colors and stuff, the fonts and stuff are not simply present over here. So let me show you some more things. We have the adaptive or auto brightness. And if you're noticing the toggles over here does look like a little bit different. It is like totally revenge OS kind of look, of course. And there is the live display. So from here you can like enable it and there is the color calibration mode. You can control the whole screen RGB. And then there is the status bar option and in there we have the icons option and from here you have the vaulty and stuff enabling option and let me tell you there is this hd icon like appears if you have a vaulty sim so that's how it is this sim one is hd capable kind of logo will appear if you have a geo sim and traffic indicators is there if you need that then there is the full screen apps and stuff i have tried enabling it but after some time i would say it keeps disabling themselves right now it's not even like turning on I don't know why but like that's how it is right now now let me scroll down we have the lock screen display and stuff so from here we have the always on display and there is the ambient display mode we have the always on display and stuff here too and anti flicker mode is there but as you can see there is no accent colors or font changing option there is a font size and display size options screen saver option is there kind of but I don't know why the accent colors are not yet there so yeah maybe they will add it in the future updates and in the battery settings we have the battery percentage and talking about the battery life i would say it is pretty great as you can see i've got about three hours of screen on time already and i still have 71 percent juice left so i have no complaints regarding the battery life you can enable the battery percentage from here it also shows the battery temperature and stuff over here so that's great and in the sound settings let me show you there is the mis audio dirac and i have tested it it does work and even the bluetooth like audio over here is working fine no issues with the bluetooth devices if you have a bluetooth headphones and stuff those are working fine over here and the sound quality is pretty great so that's it for the settings panel and stuff now let me show you the stock launcher here well it, this is the like quick step launcher i think yeah as you can see this is a quick step launcher but it doesn't have much of a settings 
it just has the like google feed integration and stuff so to the left we get the google now cards and if you swipe down anywhere you will get the quick setting toggle stuff over here so you can swipe down anywhere from the home screen and it will like come and you cannot double tap anywhere on the home screen to like sleep or something but there is double tap to sleep on the status bar so that's great and even double tap to wake and stuff is the working fine and the fingerprint scanner let me show you again the fingerprint scanner is working great here and look at this like i would say this is a quite great experience as you can see it just like did not unlock for once let me try it again it unlocked let's try again unlocked quite fast fingerprint scanner experience i would say and talking about the always on display i would say it looks quite too bright at night but like otherwise for daytime and stuff it is fine i think you cannot adjust the brightness of the always on display but yeah that's how it is and talking about the fingerprint scanner again as you can see it is quite fast and unlocks almost every time but sometimes you have to keep the finger over there for a little bit like more time but otherwise there it works like almost all the time as you can see it works i would say 9 out of 10 times now let me show you the stock dialer so the stock in call ui looks like this and there is also the recording call option so that's great and vaulty calls and stuff are working fine here no issues with vaulty calls here now talking about what things you won't get is like the google pay is not working right out of the box for this you've got to use magic hide or something so that is how it is and the drm info shows as level one so that's not a problem here you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p i guess and here like every other thing is working fine i have also installed the anx camera version 158 and it should work fine let me show you as you can see it does work fine we have the wide angle camera and the telephoto camera working here too and i have also installed the google camera here it should work fine too and as you can see the google camera is working fine here no issues you have the like portrait night sight etc modes here so that's not a problem google camera and stuff should be working fine but by default we have a pretty old snapdragon kind of camera so yeah that's like how it is do not use that camera now let me remove all the apps from memory now let's open one by one let's open file explorer now facebook and this is just to show you guys the apple speeds and the ram management here play store youtube and instagram now let's open all the apps from memory again and as you can see the like app open of speeds and stuff are pretty fast no issues whatsoever as you can see and you can like switch between apps just like this pretty quick no issues whatsoever that i could find regarding ram management here even though i have a 6 gb variant of the redmi k20 pro the whole ui feels pretty snappy and here is the android score of this rom So in terms of PUBG graphic settings, you can play on HDR and Extreme and the gaming performance should be pretty fine as you can see it is pretty fast over here, the character is moving pretty fast and the gaming performance too over here should be pretty fine because you can play on HDR and Extreme settings. And the volume panels and stuff looks quite great as you can see here. It looks a little bit different from other ROMs, it has a kind of dual tint and as you can see this is how the like normal volume panel looks like when it's expanded and it is quite useful that you can control the media call ring and alarm volume from here directly and in system we have the front camera like effects and stuff and in the front camera effects we have these many options and let me show you with this anx camera the sounds does work and even the led of the front camera does work too here and talking about fast charging and stuff yes i have tested it with the 18 watt charger yes the fast charging over here does work too now talking about the missing features i would say there is no like swipe to adjust the brightness on the status bar you have to like pull the status bar down and like adjust the brightness from here and there is no like always unlock with the fingerprint scanner and stuff so those features are missing over here yes but i would say this is quite a great rom if you want to try revenge os on your redmi k20 pro based on android 10 you can definitely do that so thank you so much for watching this video guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now